Welcome all you good people and hear my story concerning Namu the killer whale. I'll tell you some things that are bloody and gory and thereby hangs a tale. Live and let live, let nature be your teacher, respect the life of your fellow creature. Live and let live whatever you do, and always remember the killer whale Namu. It happened one time in the northwest waters to fishermen some whales they spied. They shot one whale, a six-ton female. She swam to the shore and she died. Her mate swam behind her, trying to find her, and oh how he cried and he mourned. Until Hank Donner, he happened upon her, and upon her mate so forlorn. Live and let live, let nature be your teacher, respect the life of your fellow creature. Live and let live, whatever you do, and always remember the killer whale Namu. Big Joe and Bert, they both tried to hurt Namu, the giant of the sea. But Hank grabbed Bert's rifle, said, boys, don't you trifle, this whale and this cove are for me. So Hank placed a net in the water so wet, and the townsfolk were scared through and through. But little Eliza ran, lent Hank a helping hand, and they both made friends with Namu. Live and let live, let nature be your teacher, respect the life of your fellow creature. Live and let live whatever you do, and always remember the killer whale Namu. But soon there begun that big salmon run, and Big Joe took after Namu. But before Joe could kill Namu, he did spill Big Joe and his boat in the blue. But Namu, he did save Big Joe from the waves, and the whale heard the great ocean call. Then everybody knew that the killer whale Namu, he wasn't a killer at all. Live and let live, let nature be your teacher, respect the life of your fellow creature. Live and let live whatever you do, and always remember the killer whale Namu. I just saw the devil with a pitchfork and a shovel His wicked laughter rang out like a bell I watched him as he stood Damning all the good The master of the mighty fires of hell I saw people walking by Heard their weary cries of the misled fill the earth on the edge of life I saw evil in the raw damnation ruled and every soul was burned then I saw the devil with a pitchfork and a shovel Wicked laughter rang out like a bell I watched him as he stood Damning all the good The master of the mighty fires of hell I guess I finally woke up Afraid to even look up My eyes had seen a vision in the night And I'm changing all my ways Starting out today I thank someone for showing me the light I just saw the devil with a pitchfork and a 
a shovel His wicked laughter rang out like a bell I watched him as he stood Damn it, all the good A master of the mighty fires of hell Infants don't know that society expects them to have at least one bowel movement a day. They also don't know that whether they have one or not is their own private business. Therefore, they are apt to announce each bowel movement, whether soft or hard, by a magnificent assortment of grunts, cries, and even screams. It should, in all honesty, be mentioned that the loudness of their sounds bears no regular relationship to the consistency of their stools. Here is a healthy five-month-old male infant announcing the normal production of a bowel movement.
mermaid If she leaves the water Must he treat her like a daughter If he tries to make her his mate Can a man part woman part fish Successfully cohabitate a man could surely fall for her goodness knows she's had other affairs I suppose and she never has to wear clothes guess I'll give romance a try be brave and give it a whirl wish me luck cause I'll need it making love to both a fish and a girl I'll admit I'm really afraid, afraid to ask a mermaid if she'd like to get made. Man and a mermaid. Man and a mermaid. Well, she really has a beautiful face to kiss her is heavenly well the creature is a topless wonder yet down under she's a fish well, I tell you I'm really afraid afraid to ask a mermaid if she'd like to get made <laughs> well I wish I could turn into a merman cause how could she be my loving mate if we can't cohabitate Bigfoot one day to understand and with broken heart Bigfoot, tears in his eyes showed him the path to go Bigfoot and little Willie White Cloud were friends in every way Together they fished and they hunted through the sunny summer day Bigfoot and Side 
Side by side They walk so proud Bigfoot and little Willie White Cloud
used to walk down back streets with junkies drunk and self-made freaks couldn't see the works of God anywhere. I could only see what man created. Now I see my heaven awaiting and thank God by his love. Now I'm free. I'd rather be blind in my eyes than in my soul. To be blessed with the lasting love deep in my soul The day I turned away from sin That was when my life began I'd rather be blind in my eyes than in my soul Used to go to all the places where life wasn't real It was only wasted The devil himself was there by my side Rather be blind in my eyes than in my soul, and thank God I'd rather be blind. 